Well, I don't, before we go on to the Ask Paddy segment, I need to ask you about what you're doing now after boxing because you mentioned it to me before, lad, and it's very interesting and obviously want people to know about yeah, that. Yeah, I've been through loads of things, obviously. That, that's like, that's the thing when you retire, you try and find things to do or, or stuff you've wanted to do. I've, I've I commentate, that, that's, what, that's what pays the bills. I commentate full time and I love it. And it's boss. Obviously, you give your life to boxing or, or your sport and then when you retire, it's like, Go and do something new because you yeah. can't do that no more. But it's not all and all, but it's more or less all and all. And I yeah. know a lot about it, and I like to think I can read a good fight, and I can I can I can talk well about it, and I, and I can tell the truth without sort of exaggerating. And and, and that's hard to find on telly nowadays with, with boxing, especially. So that's what I'm doing. But I've I've been involved with for a, a while now to start a, a union, a boxing union, a, a fighting union. I don't want to just stick to boxing. I think. The way the world is at the minute, everything's going on, the way unions are, it's a great time to to, to bring this back out now because yeah. we can do it properly. We can get the right people in, in place. There's MPs there, there's, there's union leaders and union workers who, who, who will take the boxing and the fighting union, sorry, under the, the umbrella. And it's something that boxing definitely needs, boxing certainly needs. And I'm not slagging the UFC by any means or by in any way, but... I work with a lot of the lads who, who, who've been involved with the UFC on on the television aspect, and we were doing a little study on how much of the actual income gets yeah, to that's fighters. Like Eighty five percent goes to the UFC or something like that. It's like fifteen percent of the fighters in the UFC. Yeah. In boxing, it's 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 a lot more. In football, it's like ninety something percent. In the American sports, it has wages. to be like fifty one percent going yeah, to the players. Exactly. Now, if there was a union in place where all the fighters in the UFC could 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 sign up or MMA. Even if they got twenty percent, it's five percent more, but it make a lot of difference to yeah. the boxers. Together, everyone stronger. You know, the socialist views, Labour Party views, Labour. You know, it's not that it's close at all. He's like anyone can get involved, no matter what you vote. But a union together, you're stronger. At yeah. the moment, there's there's people out there, maybe promoters, maybe the boxing board, maybe commissions worldwide, and and what they say goes, and it's unchallenged, and the boxers got no one to help them. After the time, kids are signing contracts and they, they haven't had one bit of legal advice, even though the manager said on it, go and get legal advice. He's your manager, you're supposed to trust them or here. Yeah. So they're meant to look after you. So you just sign whatever they're suggesting you sign, but then a few years down the line, something will go tits up and it doesn't work. So as long as the boxers and, and the fighter have a voice for them, basically, and if a union can provide that, then we can get the right people in place and the right board there and the right finance behind it and the right things. If if every fight in the world was insured when they got in there, whether they, they, they knew it or not, if they got injured and they got out and right, you were insured on the policy because you're in the union. There's, yeah. there's your injury covered, there's your operation covered, there's your expenses covered or something. Even just something like that, that would be a massive help because fighters have got not on that. And you know it yourself because you're our one. There's not many people willing to help you, even when you're winning, even when you're doing great. And especially when you're not doing great, there's no voice there and there's no, there's no, there's no arm around your shoulder helping you, yeah. basically. So yeah, that's a fact. Been getting involved with that, yeah. And a couple of other things regarding like boxing and tickets and fighting and that, but not on there, not on, not on ever as good as fighting. No, not on ever be as good as fighting. I know that myself. 